When we look at mankind, can we imagine that these fragile creatures can withstand yet again survive a catastrophe? Seems impossible the human race survived that long, but our ancestors proved us wrong. From the Ice Age to the Spanish Flu, they did a pretty incredible job surviving some serious apocalyptic events. So let's dive into some interesting facts about these end of day stories and 10 times humans survived the apocalypse. Surprisingly, the last one was closer than you think. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos. Triassic Extinction Around 250 million BC, there was a mass extinction event that almost wiped us out long before we even existed. Triassic extinction is also known as an Permian extinction that killed 81% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrates. Though the exact cause of the extinction is still unknown, many experts agree that the formation of a massive continent Pangaea blocked the oceans around it from flowing properly. This led to the water becoming stagnated and deadly. The stagnant water poisoned almost everything in it, but it didn't stop there. Not having a reliable source of clean water also proved fatal to 70% of land-based species. The Permian-Triassic extinction was so devastating to the Earth that NASA refers to it as the Great Dying. The speed of the recovery from the extinction is disputed. Some scientists estimate that it took 10 million years or until the Middle Triassic, due to its severity and the fact that the same conditions happened periodically for another 5 million years. Ice Age Humans, although they seem delicate creatures, still they survived the Ice Age. No, not the movie. A discovery of 37,000 years old fossils confirms human survival through this freezing era. The last humans on Earth may have persevered through this time by retreating to a small patch of land nicknamed the Garden of Eden in Cape Town, South Africa, which was the only place that remained habitable during the devastating Ice Age. The sudden temperature drop wiped out many species elsewhere around 195,000 years ago, sparing only Homo sapiens or early humans and Neanderthals, the last evolved ones. Some scientists even believe that the human race population may have fallen to just a few hundred individuals who managed to survive in one location. Recent findings suggest the small population that gave rise to all a human alive today survived by exploiting a unique combination of resources along the southern coast of Africa. Those lucky few are thought to be the only humans who survived the Ice Age. Fortunately, our forefathers did just about manage to survive sitting through the Ice Age, and we cannot even step outside of our homes in case of a mild snowstorm. Population Collapse or Neolithic Apocalypse the Neolithic Apocalypse is a mysterious mass extinction event that almost led to the total collapse of the world's population, and is still studied today. We do not know exactly how the world population almost disappeared. This mysterious and scary event took place in the Neolithic Age when the human population was strangely reduced and there is still no proof about the cause of such a massive downfall. The number of humans had fallen dramatically to about 16,000 only, leaving the human race on the verge of extinction. Somehow, humans managed to come out of this as well. We've been busy. Multiple theories try to explain the possible cause of such a massive decline in population. One theory states that mankind was maybe hit by a disastrous event such as an earthquake, flood or volcanic eruption. While another theory claims that folk simply killed their fellow man due to the lack of resources such as food, water and shelter. Both these theories seem logical in a way, but the exact cause of this apocalyptic event is still unknown. Megiddo the ancient city of Megiddo, aka Tel Megiddo, was the center of culture, trade, and power. The city was so important that both major powers at the time, the Assyrians and the Egyptians, wanted to claim it their own, which resulted in many battles to be fought in ancient times. Memories of these continuous wars continued to haunt people for a long time, and led to many mythologies in major Abrahamic religions. The battles which raged between Assyria and Egypt, particularly under Thutmus III, were so horrifyingly devastating that the later Greek word for the city became synonymous with the end of the world, Armageddon. Again, not the movie. It is a common belief among the followers of Abrahamic religions that the last battle in time between good and evil will be fought here. Interestingly enough, since the catastrophic battle of 15th century BC, the city has witnessed dozens of big and small fights, including a major battle between the Ottoman and British forces during World War I. Shangzi Earthquake 
China has always been the most populated country in the world. Now imagine if 60% of China suddenly perished. It would definitely feel like an apocalyptic event. Actually, it happened in 1556, when Changzi province in northern China was hit by a massive 7.9 magnitude earthquake. To give you an idea about its severity, this earthquake was 10 times more powerful as compared to the earthquake that shattered Haiti in 2010. The impact of this China-shaking event was enormous, causing 830,000 deaths in the blink of an eye. Although this number seems a lot less as compared to the death toll in the Ice Age or Neolithic apocalypse, but it erased 60% of the population in central China. That's the equivalent of an earthquake killing 780 million people in our current time. Apart from human lives, this event also caused immeasurable losses in terms of infrastructure and economy. A similar event of this magnitude today would trigger a massive downfall in modern economy and humans would suffer greatly, leading to chaos all over the globe. Black Death It is probably one of the scariest and most devastating plagues that spread all across Europe in the 14th century. <laughs> Fumes of the dead hung in the air like poison. Around 50% of the European population was killed as a result of this tragic event. A lesser known fact about this plague is that it did not only affect Europe, but it also swept across Asia, Africa and the Middle East, killing thousands of people all across the world. What madness is this? Plague! Play. Like no other. Apart from the casualties, this devastating event gave rise to many crazy superstitions as well, as many people believe that this disease was the result of God's displeasure, which led to massive social mayhem as it spared no one, including the rich, poor, the powerful, and weak. The disease returned at a later stage, but the effects that this particular outbreak in this 14th century posed were unrivaled. The solar flare storm of 1859 and 2012. Earth witnessed a large-scale solar storm in 1859 during the Victorian era. At the time, this event didn't cause severe damage to the human population and didn't even put a dent in the course of history. But imagine if this happens nowadays, the situation would be much worse. In fact, if just one solar storm like this would hit the Earth, it can completely change the patterns of our lives. If we survive it, of course. The electric power grid would be wiped out by the current. Lights and computers, transportation, hospitals, all would go down. The storm would destroy much of the electrical systems and most devices such as laptops, electric lights, smartphones and many more. We would no longer have access to artificial lights, cars and even our phones and tablets. Okay, kids, you can panic now. Worst case scenario, we can be back to riding horses and writing letters to each other. Many of you might not know, but we were on the verge of this epic downfall in 2012, when an incredibly powerful solar flare narrowly missed our planet by very little. And by very little we mean just a few minutes. In fact, according to NASA, if it had occurred 6 minutes earlier, we'd still be picking up the pieces of massive destruction, and would have also caused a second ice age by freezing everything on Earth. Well, that's what you call a narrow escape. The Tunguska Explosion it seems like asteroids continuously pose a threat to the human population on Earth. And these are not mild threats only. In fact, a giant rock from space can wipe us out just as quickly as solar storms. In 1908, the Siberian forest suffered a shattering blow as a meteorite, most likely, entered our atmosphere and hit the Earth at incredibly high speed, flattening a very large area. But thanks to Russia's massive unpopulated areas, the place where the meteorite hit was in the middle of nowhere. The impact was a thousand times more powerful than the nuclear bombs dropped on Hiroshima in World War II. It raised the soil and destroyed millions of trees. Many thousand people hundreds of kilometers away saw the explosion rise in the skyline, and many thought the end of the world was upon them. The Spanish Flu As the humans barely managed to come out of the bubonic plague, it gave rise to the development of many disease prevention practices, but still, it was not enough to prevent us from another deadly disease, i.e. the Spanish Flu. In 1918, the Spanish Flu spread rapidly around the world, infecting 250 million people. The Spanish Flu killed quickly, and it killed in huge numbers. Besides replicating very quickly, the 1918 strain seems to trigger a particularly intense response from the immune system, including a cytokine storm, the rapid release of immune cells and inflammatory molecules. These cells were often sent in such high concentrations that they clogged the air passages to the lungs, causing people to drown in their own fluids. Although the disease disappeared by the end of the year, perhaps mutating into a less deadly strain of flu, but in that short time, it had already claimed 50 million lives. Many reports indicate that this disease can thrive again, but let's hope that's not true. 
And now, to our most recent and devastating apocalyptic event, whose effect still resonates in our current times. World War II It is no strange fact that World War II was a pretty big deal, and we cannot even blame nature for that. It was the downfall of man that caused it upon all mankind. The last major war in recent times is deeply engraved in history. Every corner of the world witnessed combats between Allied and Axis forces, resulting in massive devastation across Europe, Africa, and Asia. Massacres, Holocaust, and starvation resulted in the death of over 80 million people. By the end of the war, starvation and deprivations were common, as the survivors tried to stay alive in the ruins of once great and remarkable cities. Innocent civilians in Europe, Japan, China, and so on were left in disarray and misery as there was no food, electricity, water, or even a functional government. The deadliest factor in the war was the nuclear program as Nazi scientists were working round the clock to develop a nuclear weapon. From 1939 onwards, the German nuclear program was very close to splitting the atom. Some even claimed they were on the verge of completing an atomic bomb and they already had a plan drawn up to nuke London and New York. But due to fanatism and racism, many prominent Jewish scientists were killed, leaving the Germans without many leading experts they could rely on. Otherwise, the results could have been a lot worse. Will we witness an apocalyptic event anytime soon? And are we ready for it? Did humanity learn anything from the past? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos. See you on the next one.